Hello guys, Calmere here once again. And so today I'm going to show you an XOR gate. A lot of people in my last video uh, for circuitry did mention I missed out on the XOR gate, which is actually a very useful gate. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated, but I'll make sure I try and explain this as best as I can. Uh, and what an XOR gate is, is basically if you have two signals coming in at the same time, um, if both of them are the same, and that means either both of them are off or both of them are on, then your signal is going to be off. If your signals are opposite, one's on, one's off, and it doesn't matter which one's which, then your signal, your output's going to be on. Now the first uh, one I'm going to build is actually just going to be to um, kind of show you how the circuitry works. Uh, what you do is you're going to put a block down, and then you're going to go diagonal one space, or well, one space in the middle, and same thing over here. And you're going to put torches on all three of these and then you are going to put redstone dust going in between the blocks as well as in between the torches like that and this is going to be your output whoops okay your inputs going to come from behind these blocks and basically you're just going to connect one line into that block one line into that block and then your output just kind of connects to it wherever and then you would have whatever is creating your signal. Okay, so as you can see, when both of them are off, the piston is uh, down. Now, if both of them were on, okay, the piston is still off. But if one is off and one is on, the piston goes up. And again, it doesn't matter which one. So this is great for like if you could imagine that that piston was a door between these levers. So you could walk up hit either switch or well hit this switch your door would open you go through you hit the other switch your door closes again alright so that would be an XOR gate and the way that this works okay when both signals are off this blocks getting no power and this blocks getting no power and this blocks getting no power well since this block is getting no power it's activating this middle line which is turning off the two side blocks therefore you're getting no power as your output Okay, when they're both on, okay, this one is turning off this middle block, so you're no longer getting the middle line, but it's also turning off this block, so you're getting no power from it. And the same thing on this side, it's turning off this block, so the middle line is off, but it's also turning off this block, and so you're getting no power there either. Now, when only one or the other is on, so once again, this is turning off this block, so the middle line is getting no power and it's turning off this block on its side so that's giving no power but on the other side no power is being sent in to this block from the lever and since this line is off it's also sending no power to that block which means the torch is on lighting up uh, the dust okay now again this is kind of a spread out model just to show you how it kind of works um, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to make a compact method there may be more compact methods but this is the one I favor because it's really easy to remember um, it does require repeaters however and I'll explain that once I'm done building it uh, now the first thing you're gonna do is do a 3 by 3 circle like that and your uh, direction that you want your output you're gonna have an arrow facing it so like a triangle so two on the on your input and one is your output and you are going to use repeaters here and here and they don't have to be set to any tick or anything like that um, you can if you want but you don't need to and you're gonna put dust that goes from these torches into that uh, block down there and this is actually why you use repeaters because that way if you don't use a repeater and you were to try and use a line there to send the signal they would cross contaminate so the way around that is to use a repeater. All right, and from here, uh, we're also going to put a dust in front of each of those. And we're going to put our torches in the front. And then that's also where your output's going to be like that. Actually, go ahead and remove that one since I'm running out of space. Your inputs are going to go um, to the basically where the torches are and then you've got your two torches so if they're both off it means these two torches are on which is sending power to the middle torch as well as it's sending it through the repeater to this line so that torch is off but the repeater 
is sending signal to this torch. Same thing over here. This repeater is sending signal to this dust, so that torch is off. If I turn them both on, okay, now both of these torches are off, so the repeaters are no longer sending dust, but because there's no, um, no power being sent through this, that torch turns on, which activates both dusts, so again the torches are still off. Now if it's one or the other, kill the sheep in my way, okay, so this one is off, so that torch is on, which is lighting this dust, turning off that torch. Okay, um, but this is also still sending power to that torch, which means it's off. But on this side where it's on, that torch is off, so nothing's being sent through the repeater, and because that torch is off, nothing's being sent from it, allowing this torch to turn on, and so it activates the piston. So once again, if both of them are on, the piston is down. If both of them are off, the piston is down. But if they have opposite signals, and it doesn't matter which one's which, the piston is on. So uh, hopefully this will be useful in some of your guys' inventions. And once again, uh, I want to thank you guys for watching. If you like my channel, please subscribe and like this video. And I will see you in my next video.